Hey everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Agile DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. In our earlier video, we have created this particular organization and project. Uh, this project is based upon Agile. And in our last video, we have created this epic where our scenario is like we need to make our application global. In order to make the application globally available, I have created two new features under this epic. One is app migration to cloud, meaning like our application is hosted in on premise and it is available only to specific areas. We need to make it available globally with minimum latency in order to make it. I have created one to migrate the application to cloud. And next one is adding social media login. Let's say for example, Google account login, Apple ID login or Facebook login. These two are created as feature and this is the epic. If you don't know how to create this, just watch my earlier video. I'll be providing the URL in the video description. Now let's proceed to create user story. In order to create it, just click here and then click on user story. For user story, you need to provide a title of maximum length to 55. Let me provide a title to our story. So first story is login with Apple ID and we can assign now or you can assign to you the people who is going to work on it later as well. So I'm going to leave it as blank. And in case if you want to add a tag, you can do so. So tag is just for organizing purpose. You can query it. So which we'll see it later. As of now, I'm going to provide a tag called social. This is coming up in the suggestion because we already added this in Epic and future. So state, if you see this currently new is available, we couldn't see other states. First, let's save it. And now if you see, we could find these many states. So what are these states? So whenever you are creating your work item, the initial status will be new. Let's say, for example, if you started working on it, you can just put it as active. And once the code got completed and unit test passed, you can just move it to resolve. Once acceptance test also passed, you can close it. You can change state of any order. Let's say, for example, you have closed it, but still you found some issue. So you need to work on it. Just move from close to active. This state will help you to organize and manage the user story better. And here, if you see area, so area and iteration, we will see it in a elaborated way in a different video. Now let's proceed to description. So description defines what this implementation is actually. So let me add a description and you could make the statement bold italic underline and here you have bulleted list number list which you see in microsoft word and next acceptance criteria acceptance criteria means when i can consider this user story as completed let me add acceptance criteria so this is the acceptance criteria so only after the successful completion of this only we can say this user story has completed so now discussion here you can discuss with your team let's say for example hey if you put at you can mention your person so whatever the team members available it will show up here you can just and you could add emoji as well and once comment is added it will come down below so if your teammate added further comment you could see as well over here so here with this you could collaborate well and if in case if you want to edit you can edit from here let me cancel this and so here if you see planning panel so here what is a user story story points it's up to you you can keep any unit of measure for story points let's say for example hours or days you can keep it you could use in combination of days with fibonacci series let's say for example 1 2 3 5 8 and 13 next fibonacci series is 21 but Split your user story in such a way that it can be completed within a sprint. For my scenario, I have 14 days for a sprint, which means 13 is the highest story point I could give for a user story. Or you can even keep it ratio. Let's say, for example, if I say story point as 2, it corresponds to 5 days. It's up to me how I can define story point. So for this, I'm going to assign story point as 4, which means 10 days. And priority you can set so here priority you have four different priority so what is this priority these are the four priority priority one means that is highest priority which means this story needs to be implemented as soon as possible and we shouldn't move our code to prod without 
completing this particular story and next is priority 2 which is of medium priority which is same as highest priority only difference is that we need not to address it immediately but before shipping to production we should make sure we are addressing this story and next is low priority low priority item you can work whenever you find time and all if you couldn't find time you can just push your code to production and later you can work on it and the fourth one is lowest priority these are like the minor changes which doesn't affect application usage and next is risk here you have three item high medium and low so what is the risk of doing it so whether if you do something whether it is going to have an high impact or medium impact or low impact so what is the risk of doing it so I'm going to set it as medium and classification whether it is having architectural change or kind of business impact so what kind of impact it is going to have I'm going with the business impact and if you scroll up a bit so currently we are in details tab and if you just tap here this is history tab here you will have all the logs with the exact timings and if you switch to the last tab you could add PDF or image whatever you want so let me save this before we move on I like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make this video from preparing content still editing so I request you to subscribe as well as hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when I'm updating new videos super thanks is now enabled on our channel I would really appreciate if you could contribute and here if you click on this notification setting you could get notifi email notification based upon your preference let's say for example you can receive all the notification from this work item or if you want some custom you can go with this let me cancel this let's create separate user story for Google account login and then Facebook login just click on it add a user story let me add a description to it and let me add acceptance criteria as well now you could provide story point priority and risk let me get back to work items and you could create one more uh, user story for uh, meta as well meaning like a facebook id at this point let's proceed to create task so just click on new work item and click on task so this task is related to google account login the first is to create google credentials create authorization cred credential for google so i'm just assuming the steps what and all we need to do here you could add a description and you can set priority so if you just click on this drop down it will have various tasks so this task is related to what whether it is related to documentation or it is related to development so it is related to development so i'm just selecting it and here if you see original estimate so how many hours it will take to complete this particular task so i'm providing like 18 hours and as as you started working you can just mark like hey out of 18 16 is pending and I have completed two hours so likewise you can mark it so here you will be marking so how much hour you have spent for this let's say for example I just find two hours on this week again on next week what I will do is I will spend some more two hours and I'll be making like like this so how many hours we are working on this particular task likewise we can mark and let me save it so now let's associate this particular task to our user story in order to do it just click on add a link existing item whether you want to create a new one or existing item the user story already exists right just click on it the link which you are going to create is a parent of it or a child of it or it is a duplicate of it actually this is a parent to us right user story is a parent to a task so just select it and from this drop down you can select the user story so just add a link now let's save it and let's get back to the work item let me refresh let me navigate to the Google story and down below if you see it created a child link with the task which you have created so now I'm going to create one more task for this particular Google login uh, I can do in either way either I can create from here and another way of doing is I'm going to my story and below if you see related work is there from here just click on add a link new item 
So I'm going to create a child and the work item type as task and just click on add a link and here you can provide description and you can provide the estimate as well and the activities related to development you can create one more uh, task for testing as well so let me create for development and save and close now let's get back to work item and now let's see what are the options available in this particular work item and here you see you have a filter if the filter is not showing up just click on this icon and here you have option to filter by types if you click on user story it will list out user story alone likewise you can select multiple items as well and if you want to uh, show only the item assigned to your specific person you can just select it and you can shout out by state area as well as tag which we have created and if you want to clear out just click on this x mark which will clear out all the filters and apart from this if you see here you have column options just select this and with that just click on add a column let's say for example you can uh, you know as of now iteration path column is not showing up you can just select this and if you want to show somewhere here just click here and move all the way to the top and click on ok and see you could see iteration as well and apart from this we will cover about the rest of the item in a separate video we have lot of concepts to cover I request you to hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever I am uploading new videos. Most importantly, Super Thanks is now enabled on our channel. If you wish to contribute, I would really appreciate it. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected and I will be providing the URL for WhatsApp and Telegram link in the video description. Please do join. Thank you. Bye-bye.